everyone. I am hoping to inspire you today by encouraging you to have a look in your closet and take out one key item. It could be anything that you love, one item, whether it's a jacket or a dress or a pair of trousers, and think of different ways that you can customize that item to work for day, evening, even going out on a date. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this with this rather bland and drab looking item. If you are new and you're not au fait with how I tend to do things, I personally really like to spend my money predominantly on designer accessories. Designer bags and shoes end up repaying you in the long run because they're things that you can work in with outfits like this. So you're gonna be seeing a lot of this in here as well. So the first look is this, and what I was really going for here is the appearance of that sort of wealthy, well put together, classic, classy outfit. This jumper dress is actually really good quality. This is from Reese. I enjoy Reese. I also like Karen Millen. They're really good when it comes to middle to high end high street. Their pieces hang together really well. And thank God, this jumper dress is machine washable. So, and I've washed it a handful of times and it's not come out bad. So that's a really good thing. I've styled it with some thigh high boots these are from Stuart Weitzman. If you are going to get thigh high boots, I highly recommend, whether you get these or, or any other brand, I highly recommend that the key thing is to make sure that the boot is as tight to the leg as possible. When the boot is slightly baggy, it can come across, particularly if it's a thigh high, it can feel a bit pretty woman. Whereas if you wear a boot that fits more like a glove on the leg, I think it looks a lot more deliberate. You could either go for something like putting your hair in a pleat, I've put it in a ponytail. I've got a large oversized pair of black glasses, sleeves up, a pair of black gloves so that it, all of those little black accessories are pulling together with the whole outfit. Very often people think to achieve that sort of wealthy fashion look, not that I'm any expert by the way, but this is just my opinion, very often it can be easy to throw too much at it. But classic, not necessarily branded items are really good. And as well, finally, to go for that wealthy look, I think it's always better to go for classic design items like the Chanel Jumbo, as opposed to something maybe from Gucci at the moment, which is a little bit more trend-led. The second look, and this is actually one that I probably wear the most when I'm wearing this dress, and it is that sort of off-duty, but still styled, slightly urban look. So I've styled it here with a leather jacket. You can, any leather jacket you want, I've chosen to go for something that's slightly more biker looking. This is actually from ASOS. I got it last year, but I will try and find it and link. The quality is brilliant on this jacket. That's another thing that's good to do is very often when you buy fast fashion, although it looks amazing the quality is normally what gives the game away in terms of the fact that it was a cheap item so you by all means you can buy fast fashion but i think try and go for something where the quality is up there where it actually makes it look like it's worth a lot more than what you paid for it i have put this with a pair of chanel ankle boots and i've also worn it here with a ysl cuff and I've got my hair down in this. Now, I, as I say, I wanted to go for something that's quite fashion-y, but quite urban. It is styled down, but it's dressed up at the same time. This is the one that I think's most fun. You know, I was telling you that you could easily style this to go out on a date night. Now, albeit it depends what kind of date you're going on. If it's somewhere really high end, like a lovely restaurant, then this isn't gonna be right. But I'm thinking if you're going for more of a casual evening out, it's still winter, it's kind of cold. So this is actually a really nice cozy dress to wear. Just a plain black pair of high heels. I've got my hair up in a ponytail. You could, if you wanted, you could dress it up further by adding some color to your lips, maybe a red or even a pink. This kind of thing I think is perfect for if the date that you're going on is slightly more relaxed. Particularly in the UK, February is typically cold. So wearing something like this allows you to wear a dress. Now for the final look, if you want to be super casual and you're thinking, well, how can I wear this dress? without it making me look scruffy. Not that the dress is scruffy, but I feel that you have to work a little bit with this item to get it 
to pull itself together. I've styled this really simply because on casual days, I'm normally on my feet, I'm running errands, I want to look nice, I don't necessarily want to be out in sweatpants, I want to look smart and presentable, but I wanna be relaxed. So you could either style this with a white trainer, I would say, a white trainer or a Converse is probably the best thing to put with this. If you wear something that looks too much like a trainer, it could clash a bit. I've put it here with a white sort of trainer shoe from Louis Vuitton, just to give you a bit of an idea. This isn't typically how I'd wear it though. I would absolutely wear this with an ankle boot, a flat boot. Then you could either wear a bag crossbody with this, if that is your preference, or what really goes so well is to use something like a tote bag. So if you are, as I said earlier, if you're running lots of errands, if you've got lots of things that you need to carry around, then taking a tote bag can be a great way of being able to fit loads with you, but it still works with the dress. I've got a tote bag here here that I'm gonna show you, which is from Zara a long time ago, but Zara do these bags quite a lot. If you want that sort of tote bag look, but you don't want something that big, this little bag is brilliant. This was under 400 pounds. It is from Mansur Gavriel. You can get it in different colors and it is, I just love it. It's lined with like a nude lining, which I think as well works really nicely with the, with the color of this dress. I am as guilty probably as anyone for having particular items and I always wear them with the same combinations. And it's when you really think about it and you change things so that they look different each and every time. That's when it gets really fun. So I would encourage you to go and play around and have fun with it. 